All right, so what if we push the launch for the Alpha one week further back? No, no, the second of work. We still have lots of work to do debugging the API to the shoe itself. We still have communication issues. I mean, we'll have to go back to Bluetooth 4.2. Yeah, I know. Okay, the code for the shoe is another matter, but we'll sort it out this week. David, hi. It's a good thing I ran into you. I want to talk to you about something. All right. Hey, Charlie, go tell the team about what we discussed at the meeting, and I'll be there shortly. Uh, listen, I wanted to talk to you about security. Mark, come on. Just hear me out. We checked the cloud providers and you guys chose the best, even from a security standpoint. Yeah, but I can feel a butt on his way. Yeah, listen, I get that the infrastructure is absolutely secure, but we're going to have to take into account of what we put in the cloud, like our own code, the functionality of the app, the API. We're going to have to verify the entire code base. Mark, that's going to put the launch back by weeks. It makes me nervous we don't even have any security framework in place for the entire development process. There are just so many worst case scenarios. The DevOps team is working on an app integrated with the latest high-tech sneaker. It's a big deal for the company as last year results weren't so great and shareholders are getting nervous. Releasing this top of the line shoe is the board's last hope of keeping the organization afloat. This puts a lot of pressure on DevOps. It's not easy. The team is using modern software development processes, breaking their app into smaller pieces so that releasing new features only requires updating or adding new containers, not updating the monolith. This reduces testing and QA efforts and helps them move faster. They have implemented a DevOps model and a CI CD pipeline where development and operations work as a single team and movement of code from build through test to release and deployment is all automated. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? I don't know what to do anymore. I've been trying to work within this security framework, but it's just difficult. We're wasting way too much time rewriting code to meet security requirements and improve compliance. I talked to the head of InfoSec about it, and they're doing the best they can. We have to work within our constraints. Yeah, but Stacy. We're never going to meet the deadline working like this. Before new code can be deployed, it has to be queued for risk assessment, vulnerability scanning, and sign-off from the Change Advisory Board. Not only that, but the requirements in the deployed environment mean that every time a new workload spins up, the security team need first to manually deploy the standard endpoint protection software and security policies. Not only does this put unacceptable demand on some workloads, for others, such as the containers, there is no comprehensive approach available that examines for all the potential threats, leaving serious holes in the security. Can't we at least automate it somehow at some level? That'll take a huge load off the team and we could make up for lost time. Forget about automation. What we have doesn't even offer coverage for every kernel that we're using. I just don't have the necessary tools. Or maybe I could write you one. How hard can it be? <laughs> yeah, funny. Oh, there you are. I'm looking all over for you. What happened? Guys, I just left the business unit meeting. They're furious. A lot of effort and budget's been funneled into marketing prior to launch. And if we're not ready to ship by holiday season, we are lost. Please, tell me you found a solution. If security is trying to tell the DevOps team to slow down the rate at which they release new code, that's a losing conversation. Let's cover some of the ways we can help everyone succeed. Trend Micro provides integrated and automated protection for every stage of the DevOps model. During the software build process, Trend Micro's container security scans at build time, as well as in the container registry for known vulnerabilities, embedded secrets like passwords or license keys, malware, IOCs, and compliance and configuration checks, providing image assertion at deployment time. Workload security provides vulnerability prevention, anti-malware, integrity monitoring, application control, and more for full stack protection while application security delivers runtime and serverless function protection. To address cloud configuration challenges, Trend Micro's cloud security posture management helps with both security and compliance. In addition, manual processes can be automated, providing protection that integrates into the CI-CD pipeline using APIs for pipeline management, deployment, monitoring, and more. For example, application teams can submit security definitions into GitHub as code that are then automatically deployed as protection policy updates, 
Ops and security teams can run scripts to monitor and report, and auto-scaling creates additional secure cloud instances to deal with increased customer demand, meaning that development teams can build secure, ship fast, and run anywhere. We love what we do, and although threats can be ugly, malicious, and intrusive, we have turned cybersecurity into something beautiful.